you know, just just talking about like the HBCU plan to work together, be a difference in division, size, and makeup. That you know, the commission is basically like acknowledging going back to what I mentioned before that they are all the same in the foundation of Memphis and the mission to serve and advance students and athletes at HBCU. So I want to have people come on next week to talk about this, but I just want to throw it at you right now, just 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 to briefly discuss it. Could this really work? Because there's different sizes, like you talk about divisions one and two, right? Yes. Yeah. With the SWAC and the MEAP in Division One, all be on the FCS level, then having the SIAC and the CWA Division Two. So, all that to ask, just basically, could it really work? Wonderful question again, Scott. But you know, let me put this in perspective for you a little bit. All right. The timing of this announcement. Can you tell me what happened just a few weeks ago? Uh, with the MEAP beating the be like being victorious again in the celebration bowl. Well, yeah, that's that's exactly what I was talking <laughs> about, right? But I wasn't looking to call it out from that perspective. Okay, I was just going to say it was a celebration bowl. But to my point that I've made, you know, several times in the past, that this game is not just for the two teams and the two participants that are there. Um, it's most definitely become a celebration of HBCU athletics as a whole where not only do the alums come through, mm -hmm. but the various commissioners, the various ADs, coaches. Dude, the the, the amount of people that I've seen at, uh, from HBCU sports that was there in Atlanta that weekend, it was it was a who's who. It literally was right. a who's who. Like I said before, from, from former staffers to current staffers to former coaches, current coaches, ex-players, it, it was a who's who, and everyone had an opportunity to come and meet together and talk well, about various things. And, and I've had those conversations too with various uh, different entities. Um, and I'm, I'm, my guess is that that conversation started that weekend, and it came to a point where they were like, you know what, we need to go ahead and do something as a collaborative effort that would be of benefit to all four of our conferences. Mm -hmm. The thing that I asked though is what is their plan? It was a great announcement that yes, they're coming together to talk about various issues, but they haven't stated exactly what it is that they're talking about. So we're, start, we're basically looking at this thing, not even in its infancy, more so in its embryonic stage, because it's still developing and they're still trying to figure out exactly what it is that they're looking to do based upon the information that they've given us right now. Now, maybe they do have a plan that they're looking to to finalize and give out to the public, but I guess we won't find out exactly what that is until we're given that information um, from the respective conferences. But I most definitely be looking to see what those things will be in the upcoming months to see exactly what type of direction they're looking to go into because I believe that with these conferences coming together, that they can come up with something that would be most definitely beneficial to all parties involved. Yeah, I'm just hoping. I don't see how it could logistically work right now, <laughs> given the different size of the conference and whatnot, schools involved, and the different levels of competition, Division One, Division Two, I and mean, uh -huh. I don't know how it's going to work. I hope it does work. I hope what they come up with a good plan that could work. I hope that involves like. Uh, I'm just spitballing here, a linear channel or similar to the SEC network. Doesn't have to be as big, mm -hmm. but similar to the HB, similar to the SEC network, similar to the Big Ten uh, network or the ACC network. Call the big, call the HBCU sports or something. I don't know, some similar in that vein because there's the appetite for it. You got the alum basis for it, alumni basis for it. It can work. No. I don't know how. I'm not that smart yet. But it can work, but I'm just, I'm like you. I'm waiting for it to come in with more details. I mean, it's obviously in the infancy stages, but for, to me, if it was to be brought up right now, like recently, like a couple, couple of weeks ago, they've been thinking about this shit for a long time. Yeah. There's something that you can't come up with just will, nearly will, will, will no. on the spot. They've been thinking about this for a while. I would say probably the last three or four years, at least, <laughs> given the, the success 
uh, Jackson State was having thanks to Coach Prime. I, I think they've been in the notoriety with game day coming go, going to Jackson mm -hmm. right? and everything else, and the spotlight that's put on that particular game and the success of the celebration bowl the last few seasons and having the swipe being tell us at ESPN two the last two seasons. Yeah. They look they've been they they've been thinking about this for a long time. And they're just making it public. So to well, me, they're gonna the all the, the only thing that's left now is to dot the I it's they're not to the point of dotting the I's across the T's, but they're getting to that point. They're closer yeah. to that point probably than what many people believe. Yeah, and, and I will also say with the success of HBCU Go, with yeah. the relationship that they've had with not only right, just the right, SWAC, right. but with the CIAA as well. But there's a a, um, a part of that announcement. I, I, I shouldn't say it was in its embryonic stage because mm -hmm. it, it, uh, a, 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 in that statement, they talk about what they're looking to do. Mm -hmm. It says here, and I quote, the conference or well, the commissioners of the four power HBCU conferences will continue to meet monthly with a focused agenda to share ideas advocating spaces that impact our conferences and institutions, develop new opportunities, and expand current programming, and mostly to engage all four conference members and leadership where applicable. We're already shared in the experiences of inviting, excuse me, our members to our individual events and programs to support our mental health, leadership, career development, and more. So it looks like they're, they're looking to do more of advocacy work for the conferences to uplift the four conferences. I don't know if that necessarily spells out into um, media as of yet, but it might as, it might well could, where there could be a unified uh, front in terms of having some sort of, um, like you suggested, some sort of network that would help um, increase revenue in terms of the television deal for all four conferences. Right. I, but I know that there's a lot of advocacy work that needs to be done in, in, in terms of or, or, or collaborative efforts for these conferences to come together so they can talk to one another about what works best for their conferences and how it can benefit the others.